personnel only. Hello. Your friend has to stay here. Yes, good. Let's go. in the interior of this ship. Comforting. Lift off looks good. All systems are Locks in. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. You've certainly earned it. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. 
<laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible. That accelerates... everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> you can't be... Oh. You are serious. Okay. No more questions. Yeah, but still... Getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the... unpleasant side, but the facility staff made short work of that. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos Belli Machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield? On Nera? Ugh, oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xenoweapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation, and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by gel. As good a place to start as any. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Back in our own ship. Ship's good. Welcome up and let's go.
impossible to imagine what this looked like before the colony war. What a waste. You looking for advice on heading out into the fields? Jill's happy to oblige. New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. Not here to make your fortune out in the fields then, huh? Suit yourself, but there's no bot named Kaiser around. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? Least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing, or it got him. Well, all right. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. I hear you. I hear you, but it doesn't change anything. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. It is good that something of value can come from those old mechs. I'm not here to be your friend, I'm here to cut up mess.
die today. So quickly they come apart in the end. In need of materials? Or just here to have a drink and enjoy the views? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a microcell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you. It's not gonna be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but 
only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to be sifting through quite a few mech hulks out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Then let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. Probably best not to think too long about what Ecliptic will be doing with anything they salvage. about one man's junk there is so much junk it is difficult to recall how that goes
something of value can come from those looking next.
Research protocols triggered. Beginning scan.
Illegal intrusion. Leave. Now. Authorized personnel. Calculating and orbit stabilizing. Earth. Just uh, putting the new Stroud Eklund through its paces. Another have arrived. I will meet you inside the facility. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. 
complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amid such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. But now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. Hmm. Londinian. Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Yes? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect, their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. 
Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work, and not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines, or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. 